What's up, y'all? It's Mommy Wata, and I'm back. Thank you so much for your support of Mommy Wata Tarot. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe to the content on this platform. And let's hop into this next download. There is a warlock who got very sick as a result of spiritually attacking you. They are in the hospital trying to recover. I picked up on a divine masculine who was also trying to recover after being spiritually attacked by a warlock in another reading, but this is something different I, I just picked up on. And they are spiritually connecting with the divine feminine, the same divine feminine they've been spiritually attacking. They've been spiritually connecting with her in an effort to get her energy to heal. And they're coming to whoever this divine feminine is, like they're a knight in shine, shining armor. Like they were actually out here defending this divine feminine. And some divine masculines were out here defending y'all. And you may feel like this is an indication of your divine masculine who was out here defending you. But the person that you're actually connecting with is your karmic soulmate, some sort of warlock, okay, who is challenging you and the Holy Spirit stepped in and put that ass down, okay, hospitalized that ass, I'm telling you, 10 of wands, he went from the seven of wands to the 10 of wands, and he's been trying to spiritually connect with you to heal himself, five of wands, because the universe got on that ass now. I'm telling you, and do you think this is your true divine masculine who, who's been out here spiritually defending you, then tapped into you and is asking you for healing or is something that they're, I'm telling you, I'm telling you what I'm getting. I don't know who I'm picking up on, but I'm going to tell you something else. Your divine masculine, your true divine masculine is not going to connect to you spiritually and interact with you in such a way that'll heal him. That's not going to happen spiritually. If you are having any type of lucid dreaming, visions, or projections towards an individual who is sick and you're helping them get better in the 5D, you might want to rethink that because your divine counterpart is not going to pull from you like that. They'll naturally get healing from you. It'll just come to them. They don't have to connect with you in that way for you to heal them. It's a trick, I'm telling you. Let's clarify, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's clarify what I'm getting. Please and thank you. Three of Cups, Four of Swords. This person went from the Three of Cups thinking that they had a victory over you. Now, they were celebrating a win that they thought they had achieved over you and they asked, ended up in the hospital. Okay? And it's because divine intervention kicked in on that ass and restricted this person, this warlock karmic soulmate, in such a way that they've been in the hospital, okay? So, whoever I'm talking to, you have past history with this person who spiritually attacked you. You just ain't heard about them being sick. No one has told you that this person is dealing with a debilitating illness and is it has been hospitalized. You don't know about it. Okay, you might live in the city and this person might live in the country because this man that's sitting on this stone pillar holding these pinnacles, it's another set of cards that whenever... I see the four of pentacles. It looks like the masculine is sitting in a wheelchair. Okay, like he's sick. 
You can live in the city. This person can live outside the city. And because of where they're located at, you ain't heard because you out here, you in the city. You ain't heard how this person has been experiencing major misfortune and loss. Okay. And so they've been coming to you now like this, but it's an illusion. It is most definitely an illusion. This person here is not your divine masculine. They may have had an opportunity to boss up for you, but they chose not to. And they've been sending you energy to make you think that they are your Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups. That they're your divine soulmate that's coming in in the future to give you all the options your heart could desire. That is how he's been showing up to you. Okay? But that is not who he is. He's really this four of swords, four of pentacles. Okay? That's who he really is. But he out here perpetrating your energy like he is seven of swords. This man spiritually attacked the fuck out of you. Do you hear me now? This man has spiritually attacked you so much, possibly with the group, that he just knew that he had put you in pain and sorrow and heartbreak. He celebrated too soon, possibly with a queen of wands. Okay. They asked was metaphysical in together, both of them. And now his ass is up in a hospital somewhere. So she out still lurking around, whoever this queen of wands is. Okay. This Queen of Wands was the third party he felt like was going to help him balance out this spell work that he'd been trying to do on you successfully. This Queen of Wands is the Sagittarius. And when he tried to pull her in the mix to help him achieve a spiritual victory over you, that's when the Most High God stepped in. The Most High God picked up on this Sagittarius who this Emperor Seven of Swords thought he was going to use to come for you. Okay? That's what triggered his hospitalization. And this man is having to heal. He could be having heart issues. Okay? But that's what triggered his transition onto Karma Waters. He's off somewhere healing. This Queen of Wands in transition too. She may have a child, a son. When I say transition in this situation, I mean they they done moved on from fucking with you, okay? They can't spiritually attack you. Th neither one of them, okay? And he's not he's not spiritually attacking you right now per se, but he is doing some sort of incantation to get you to have empathy for him spiritually. And if you have empathy for him in the 5D, he's transmuting that energy to build himself back up, okay? And again, your true emperor, your true divine masculine, he's not gonna contact you or pop up in your dreams in the 5D in no hospital bed, need you to come rub, put, put lotion on his feet while he in the hospital bed, or feed him applesauce while he in the hospital bed. It's like you've been catering to him. I'm literally picking up where in your dreams, you may have even visited him in the hospital and catered to him, tended to some of his needs when it comes to comfort while he's healing. That is a clear indication that somebody is playing in your energy and trying to transmute your energy to heal themselves. Look, you a queen of pentacles. Child, I'm trying to fucking tell you. You know how to break energy down however it needs to be broke and build it back up to benefit you. You could be a Virgo specifically. And this man is using your energy in that same way to rebuild himself back up in this ace of wands. Okay? So, 
I'm at the point where anybody coming trying to connect with me in the 5D, especially in my dream state, they ain't right. Your ass getting pushed out of my energy. Okay, because your true twin flame, your true ideal love choice. Your true ideal love choice ain't gonna come to you like that. Your true, your true divine counterpart is going to get everything he need from you without even knowing it. As long as you are in the energy that is supportive and receptive of the divine partnership you know the most high god has promised you lovers with the ten of cups you you can't be tricked and fooled into thinking that anybody that pop up in your dreams is the man with the plan cuz some of these people got plans to destroy your ass to cause some sort of conflict and confusion and chaos in your mind body and spirit to the point that you give out, that you give up. Cause see, that was the plan. And that's the plan, that's the plan for a lot of these motherfuckers that be popping up in y'all energy in the 5D. Okay. You are you ain't got to do none of that to spiritually feed your true divine mate. God is gonna give them everything they need. Through you, from you, if they are in alignment and doing what they're supposed to do. They'll never come to you in the 5D and be like, I need you. I need you to help heal me. You, you won't ever be page of wands, I'm telling you. I need you. I need you to help me. I'm telling you, one of y'all was feeding this motherfucker applesauce in your dream. I'm telling you, I'm picking up on it. You were in that hospital tending to that man in that hospital bed thinking that, oh, this is my divine masculine. He done went to war for me and got fucked up and now he needs me to heal him. If your divine masculine went to war for you and got fucked up by a warlock or a dark spiritual force, the universe came in and defended him. Trust me on that. That's what came out in the other reading. The universe stepped in and annihilated that divine masculine's opposition for trying to take him out the game, okay? You ain't got to do that. You ain't got to... You won't have to step up and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with... It's some shit like that. Whoever this is is trying to make you feel like this is some testament to your love if you assist them spiritually and help them heal. But again, that's not how it works when it's your true divine masculine. God will heal him through his commitment and dedication to getting to you and partnering with you one day. He will be healed because of his conviction for you, his conviction to his divine connection, and his divine purpose. He ain't got to partner up with you like that to get justice i'm telling y'all but whoever this is that connected with you in the 5d that's exactly what he did he told you i need your strength i need your healing i'm in the tower i need your your love i need you to help me feel better okay and you've been getting this warlock back on his damn feet that's why I'm talking about this because no ladies, no queen of pentacles, we do not let stricken fallen warlocks play in our energy and convince us to heal them. We don't do that. Queen of pentacles is right up under the four of swords. Whatever you've been doing in return, in response to this emperor seven of swords playing in your energy, it has been healing him. This is somebody that you have history with. This person very well could have been a potential mate, a potential divine mate. But this person wanted to be a warlock 
And that's just on period. That's They wanted to be a damn warlock. They wanted to use their spiritual gifts to do what they do. And so that's what they've been doing. But they got fucked up for it. Because, see, he was already trying to spiritually attack you. And the level of spiritual attack that I'm picking up here is that this man was harvesting from your ass before. Clarify, Holy Spirit. That's how he was spiritually attacking you in the past, and I can't make it up. King of Pentacles. So you must have cut him off, this karmic soulmate, this karmic enemy here, okay? You cut his ass off, so he couldn't pull from you anymore. You didn't, I don't think you realized that he was energetically harvesting from you when you cut him off either. You just knew that he was doing something that wasn't in alignment with you. Whatever magician action he was taking. But I don't think you realized that he was actually a whole fucking magician out here. Because that's what he was doing. Okay? And he been siphoning from you, attempting to, ever since you, cut, you moved on. Ever since you cut his ass off, he been trying to attempt to siphon from you. And he has used a group of individuals to help him do that for a while now. Okay? Whoever he kick it with in this warlock energy. There's a Queen of Wands Sagittarius in particular too. That's a part of this. I ain't forget about her ass. No, I didn't. But he wasn't getting a job done with this Seven of Pentacles, this Hierophant, Seven of Pentacles, there may have been a Taurus that this King of Pentacles magician was using at first, and they wasn't getting the job done. So he went to this Queen of Wands, Sagittarius, death, thinking that she would help him take you out once and for all. Because see, it's given that when you was Messing with him, sleeping with him, he didn't mind pulling from you every so often and fueling his wants and needs. But since you cut him off on the physical realm, it's been his mission to deplete you completely when it comes to your energy. Just sacrifice your ass and take all your energy. But he's stupid because a true Queen of Pentacles alchemist She's always going to regenerate energy. You can't just take all her energy and that be it. If you took an Ace of Pentacles from her, she's going to regenerate and alchemize and transmute other energy to create that same Ace of Pentacles times 10. I'm telling you. So this idea that he thought he could just sacrifice you and take all of your energy like it's some damn bundle package or some shit, that's where he fucked up at. And he thought this Sagittarius Queen of Wands was going to help him achieve this final defeat against you. High Priestess. Yes, he did. I know what I'm picking up on. She's supposed to be some sort of High Priestess. Okay? And so he teamed up with this Queen of Wands High Priestess to put you in the death for your energy. And he didn't got fucked up. You hear me? It hospitalized. This motherfucker in the hospital. The world. That karmic cycle got closed out for good. This man cannot do whatever it was that he was doing specifically to take your energy anymore. He cannot do that specific thing anymore. Okay? That door is closed indefinitely. However, he's sneaking around. The back end with this new shit that he's doing to pull from you. And a light being shined down on that, okay? Because see, his ass gonna fuck around and find out for real, okay? He is because I feel this man got some sort of spiritual epiphany when his ass ended up in the hospital that he needed to stop trying to sacrifice you or he was gonna be sacrificed for good, Okay? He got indication that he need to leave you alone, that he wasn't going to be able to use your energy to make himself better. 
But see, this man is still trying to do something. He ain't straight up coming for your jugular spiritually and energetically like he was before. He's, he's trying to woo you. He's coming as somebody that needs help, that needs care, that's wounded. And he's wearing a mask as to who he truly is. And you can't see it. You are disconnected from who's really making you this offer. You don't realize that it's this karmic ex-lover who you cut off energetically. Okay? We're going to ask about your real divine masculine. Because I do believe you have a real divine masculine out here. But your true divine masculine is not going to show up in that form, in that way to you. He not, y'all. You're not going to have to page of swords. He watching you, though. Now, that's what I'm getting from this. He's watching you. He's aware of you. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Well, he clarified. <clears throat> Six of Wands on the bottom. He knows that this man been trying to connect with you through the dream state, through the 5D, and make you think that he's the one who you are supposed to partner with. He knows that man has been messing with your crown chakra. Because the only way that this karmic warlock ex-lover of yours can get your energy is if you willingly give it to them. If you go into the hospital in your dream state and visiting this motherfucker and feeding him applesauce and shit, you're voluntarily giving him your energy, okay? He not taking it. See, that's what he's doing different this time around, but I'm telling you, the universe see him. You know, he gonna fuck around and not leave that hospital, he keep it up. That's what I'm also hearing. And your true divine masculine see him too, but you're being urged to keep moving forward. What do we need to know about this divine feminine's true divine counterpart that's out here? He trying to see if you understand what the fuck going on. He, he trying to see if you really is tapped in like you need to be in order to be with him because whoever this is, he ain't got time for the bullshit. Look, because this is what he want. That's why the Six of Wands Empress came out here. But if he can pick up that you're still being spiritually manipulated, then you got some work to do. That's what he thinks. I'm telling you. He not he he know he know what's going on with this karmic ex and how they trying to still convince you through the 5D, that they're still trying to convince you through the 5D so that they can get your energy. He knows that. He he just trying to see if you know it. That's what I'm seeing here and hearing and feeling. What else, Holy Spirit? What else do we need to know about this Page of Swords, Six of Wands, who wants to have a victory with this Empress, but he need her to tighten up her spiritual game. That's what I'm hearing. Let's go. Alien DNA. Because see, this, if you got alien DNA, you should be able to pick up when these motherfuckers ain't right. Your page of swords, six of wands, true divine masculine, he got alien DNA. He don't need to come to you and ask you to heal him from a damn thing. He can heal himself through the universe, through the spiritual realm, through the most high God and his, his DNA itself. That's why I was saying from the beginning, your true divine masculine ain't going to come to you in 5D needing you to heal him. That's somebody else. And it's very possible that this karmic warlock that's fucking with your energy that's hospitalized now, they could have also been arrested too for fucking with you. That could have been how the karma boomerang back into their life as well. He's shooting bad, whoever this is. This karmic energy, I'm telling you, he's shooting bad. Him and this damn 
Queen of Wands. Okay? I ain't even get on her ass and see what all was falling apart in her life, but we don't have to. She in the strength with the hangman. Okay? That tells you all you need to know. Stop teaming up with these masculines thinking y'all some damn witches. Thinking that he love you when he really loved the woman that he getting you to spiritually attack. That's really what be happening. But they be so conflicted and dark. They can't process that love and light they feel for these women. Okay? So he didn't use the karmic energy to attack you. And I'm telling you, she is... is it's the same old song. If a man is pillow talking to you about another woman he used to date, trying to talk shit about her, talk about her at all, then that man is still caught up emotionally about that woman. And you don't need to get involved. You damn sure don't need to get on his team to come for her jugular because he mad because she don't want to fuck with him no more. He got to fuck with you. That's, that's not how we do it, ladies. You leave them man where they at. They need to heal from that former partnership. Not pull you into some sort of spiritual karma for be playing on the wrong side. Playing for the wrong team. Okay? Because, see, I told you, neither one of these people can tap into her and spiritually harvest her energy anymore. That's what he was doing at first. He was spiritually attacking her. To get her energy. Him and the Sagittarius Queen of Wands High Priestess. But she can't tap in no more at all. He cannot tap in. To pull anything from you. The only way that he gets anything from you. Moving forward. Is if you willingly give it to him. And he's glamouring your ass. To get it. I'm telling you. Favor ain't fair. You are favored. You are protected. He's upset that the spiritual realm, the most high, punished his ass the way that they did for fucking with you. He's upset about it. He he's he's trying he can't do much. Okay? But he's trying to get your favor so that he can heal only to come for you again. I'm telling you, it's like he ain't learned this lesson that he was supposed to learn when the universe put his ass down in this hospital, okay? He ain't learned. He ain't gonna learn. That's why that hangman seven of swords came out here. But that's his problem. Who gives a fuck what he going through? He going through what he going through because he kept trying to energetically harvest from you. So I damn show, I'm telling you now, trust is hard to come by. Don't trust this person that's coming to you in the dream state, needing you to balance out their life, balance out their health. Don't trust it. Okay. If you if you're true, I'm going to say it one more time. If your true divine masculine was hospitalized or got fucked up in any way from trying to spiritually defend you, you ain't got to come heal them. You ain't got to come fix them. Trust and believe that the Most High God, the Holy Spirit, and the spiritual realm as, as one then came and took care of that man. They giving him all the healing he need, and they taking care of whoever fucked with him too. I promise you that. You ain't got to do nothing. Okay, anything else here, Holy Spirit? Anything else we need to know? Trick, it's a trick. It's a trick of the devil. It's a trick of this fallen warlock. And I'm telling you, he keep trying to fuck with you. His ass ain't going to come out that hospital now. That's what I heard specifically. Because it's like he's still playing in God's face. It is not as good as yours. He has not been able to find an energetic supply as good as yours because this man was supposed to be your divine masculine. He forfeited that right, though, by coming for you in such a low vibrational negative way. 
he forfeited that right when you were still connected to him on the physical realm and were giving yourself freely to him. And he knows that he ain't never going to find nobody energy as good as yours. That's why he's been so relentless on siphoning from you. He, he know who can heal him. The person who was kinetically made up to be with him. But God not going to let him utilize your energy in that way. Those days are long gone where he could pull from you because of the once divine partnership that existed between y'all. God realigned you for this page of swords, six of, six of wands who ain't really going to show his face too funny until you stop getting played here. I'm telling you, God, God is trying to tell you something right now. If your, your true divine counterpart got it going on just as much as you do, and if they got it going on just as much as you do, then you don't need to come save them. Y'all can team up spiritually, but teaming up spiritually and you going in to heal somebody is two different things. And that's also how you should know because of how he's wanting you to come to him, what he's wanting you to do for him. He's trying to frame your true divine masculine and make you think that he is the one and he needs your healing. But I'm telling you that's that's what I'm picking up on. Cause he still keep playing in your energy. But this is also a test. Somebody going through their final test. This is somebody's final test in particular before they receive their true divine union, their true inheritance and foundation for their future. So you gotta pass the test. Use your throat chakra to ask the most high God to block whoever this is up out of your energy. If you, if you know specifically that it's this karmic fallen twin flame ex enemy here, warlock, then call on, call, call on the most high God about him specifically. But somebody need to use their throat chakra and rebuke this person that's coming to them in the 5D needing healing because trauma bonding is not love. Your, your true divine counterpart is not going to come to you bruised and battered and fucked up saying, please heal me. I need you to heal me. I'm tapped out. No, if he's on your team, true, indeed, the Holy Spirit is going to heal him and bandage him up and put him back together better than ever. He probably will receive an ascension. He will probably receive some sort of unexpected abundance even for being spiritually bruised and battered in his attempt to defend you. You ain't going to have to step in that at all. Okay. And I'm telling you, whoever this fallen war, fallen war, Whatever the fuck he is, face head ass motherfucker. That's what I'm calling him. He facing a lot of other problems besides his health. I'm telling you, this person was arrested. This person got health problems, possibly with his heart. And this person got money problems too. That's also why they cooing to your ass. Because they hoping that you will help them, willingly help them manifest the life that they want this time around because they fucked up they done lost everything i'm hearing virtually everything that they have acquired off your energy in the past god took all that shit so the fact that he still he ain't learning from that experience that maybe i need to just stop fucking with her completely no he ain't learning that's why this other energy hit the table anything else final messages Look, and I'm dropping the mic. No matter what he do, whether he time travel, lucid dream, or astral project, project this fallen war, I keep wanting to call him something else. His ass can't beat you, though. 
no matter what he say or do, the, the power is truly in your hands. So you have to decide to energetically block this person once and for all and don't have sympathy for nobody in the spiritual realm who comes to you in that comes to you in that form in that way because i'm telling you that's a trick a trick of the devil and i'm dropping the mic i hope this message helps someone i hope it gave you insight and guidance on how you should move forward but always remember y'all if it doesn't apply please let it fly take only what resonates leave the rest and i'll be back soon with another one peace